Good day. I'm Alexey Dobryansky. I'm a senior software engineer on the Business Central team. Hi, my name is Jaden Topaya. I'm also a senior software developer with the Business Central team. Today, I will share the latest news about the sales line suggestion with Copilot, which is an assistant designed to streamline the creation of sales quotes, orders, and invoices using natural language or structured data. It helps uh, easily add lines to the new sales documents, either from item list or from previously created documents. Thanks to the valuable feedback we got and uh, to more powerful capabilities of Copilot, we've made several improvements to the feature to extend its functionality and to make it work faster and more re reliable. So let me walk you through these improvements. First, we've uh, improved the product search by better keyword extraction. Let me demo how it works now. I have the sales order here and I want to use the sales line suggestion feature. First, I'm asking the copilot about six guest chairs and a couple of desks. In this example, I made the mistake of not having a white space between guests and chairs here. And let's see how Copilot deals with this. And it did it right. It recognizes that guest chair in, in one word actually means guest and chair in, in two words here. And it puts the right quantity to both items. Let me give you a couple of more examples of a context understanding. Now I'm asking the copilot for a small coffee maker. Let's see what it suggests. And gives me a small coffee machine for personal use. You can see the picture right over here. But let's slightly change the query here. I need a bigger coffee maker. Now it offers a bigger machine. The third request I'm giving the copilot is I need a big coffee maker for commercial use. And that's a big one that I got here. These examples show how copilot understands the context of my queries. Now, what number two is that the uh, product search now works up to 10 times faster. For example, for a database with 40,000 items, the search time has decreased from 60 seconds to just 5-6 seconds. Let me give you a brief example. Here I'm requesting for two desks, black and green chairs, 6 each, and lamps for these desks. I click Generate. And it took a system two, three seconds to give me the results. And you can see that it recognized the context of these desks and suggested me two lamps. As I have two desks, it gives me two lamps, one lamp per each desk, and six each black and green chairs. The third point is we've added the ability to search for blanket orders as a source, to doc as a source document to copy from. And the important thing here is that it doesn't merely copy from the blanket order. It establishes direct link to the blanket order line, so you won't exceed quantity in the blanket order. So here I'm typing uh, get items from the blanket order. Previously, I've created the blanket order for this specific customer. We click generate here. And now we retrieve two, uh, two lines from the blanket order. And here is a link to the blanket order. Then we change the quantity, say 5 and 5, insert these lines into sales order, and then ship the sales order. Now, if we go to the linked blanket orders here, We will see our blanket order that we have linked to and the 
shipped quantity or oh, 5 and 5 what we shipped in the sales order we've just created with the sales line suggestion feature. So I won't be able to ship more than 5 for this first item and 10 pieces for the second item. The fourth point here is we can narrow the search down to specific document. In other words, you can search items not from all item list, but from the previously from those items that are included in the document you specify. Let me demo it how it works. In my example, I have a sales quote that contains chair and a lamp. Now I'm asking the sales line for a coffee machine. It works as it should. It suggests me the coffee machine from the item list. Then I'm asking a coffee machine from the sales quote. SQ1 is the number of my sales quote. And it gives me nothing because I don't have a coffee machine in the sales quote. Let's ask the copilot what do I have in the sales quote? I can see that in that sales quote I have a room, chair green and a lamp. Then I'm asking the copilot to give me just chair from the sales quote. And it suggests me the chair that I've chosen. Next, we've added the support of units of measure. Now any units of measure you have set up for your item is it pieces, bottles, kilos, pallets, it will be all considered by the sales line suggestion feature. Here I'm asking the sales line feature for coffee beans. I need Brazil, which is delivered in either bags or packs. Here I'm asking for two bags and two more packs. And the copilot gives me two lines here. One line for two bags and one line for two pieces, which is fair. Lastly, but the most prominent feature is we've added the file support so that you can query SLS with the structured data. And let me hand it over to Chetan who will tell you more about this new feature. Thank you, Alexi. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, sales line suggestion from attachments. Uh, currently we support uh, only CSV file type and in the future, we hope uh, we'll have support for other file types as well. But for now, it's only CSV. The whole process of Copilot uh, you know, generating suggestions from um, CSV file is a two-step process. Uh, in the first step, it, uh, Copilot analyzes the CSV file that has been uploaded and, uh, you know, and extracts key information, you know, information like uh, what column has um, product information, what column has uh, information about quantity and unit of measure, and also, you know, how is the CSV structured? Is it uh, comma separated or tab separated? You know, what is the column separator basically? All this kind of uh, uh, key information is extracted and passed it on to um, the next step, which is uh, parsing the CSV based on the extracted information and calling the find product capability that uh, Alexei talked about uh, just now. And at the end, you what you see is, uh, uh, you know, sales line suggestions that uh, the copilot produces. So let me quickly uh, show you a demo to illustrate uh, the feature. All right, uh, for the demo, I have a sales quote here, which you can see on the screen. Um, and I have received um, a CSV from my customer or, or some external source. I'll upload the CSV and uh, get the suggestion from the copilot. And the CSV that I'll be using uh, looks something like this. You can see there's a lot of information in the CSV including the information that Copilot is interested in, which is uh, item information, quantity, and unit of measure. And uh, yeah, those are the information that will be fetched from the CSV. And uh, let's go ahead and upload the CSV. So as usual, I'll go to the sales line uh, action, uh, where we had added a new uh, action called attach. Using which you can upload the CSV file. So this was the file. So. Uh, now it's uh, up, uh, being uploaded. The, uh, it's going through first step, which is uh, extracting the key information uh, from the CSV file. Once uh, the information is extracted, it, it's uh, presented to the user in a friendly way. 
Uh, you can see the, the co-pilot detected that uh, the file has a tab uh, column separator. And uh, we also have a list of all the columns from the CSV. And the co-pilot suggestion for the mapping. For example, the column with name uh, ITM is mapped to product, meaning it's a product information. Uh, you know, the column uh, quantities is uh, mapped to the quantity and likewise unit of measure is uh, mapped to unit of measure. So this is the session from uh, Copilot and of course the user can go ahead and change these uh, mappings uh, if the user thinks the Copilot got it wrong. So user can basically open uh, you know, the column action and select the mapping or change the mapping or reset whatever it's already done. To help the user in this process, uh, we also have actions um, under column values where the user can go and check the, the, the values that's in the CSV file. So this will help the user to make a more informed decision about the mapping. So now uh, the user is uh, happy with all the mapping that has been done. Uh, then user can go ahead and uh, click on the generate. And this takes uh, it to the second uh, stage, which is uh, you know, parsing the file based on um, the information that uh, we provided and uh, sending it to the find product uh, feature or capability and getting the suggestions. You can see that um, there were 20 lines in the CSV file and we got 20 suggestions. And you could also see that uh, the performance was quite good in getting to our reading 20 lines and getting suggestions for all 20 lines. Um, uh, from here, of course, uh, the user can change uh, change the quantity, you know, unit of measure, or, you know, remove the line completely. Or you can always go back here and change the mappings and regenerate. So once uh, the user is happy with the session, the user can go ahead with and uh, click on the insert. So now it has added all the things to your sales quote. So when you click on that insert uh, action, it also means that the mapping that was used to generate the, the suggestions were correct. In that case, uh, we save the, or we cache the mapping against the column header, sorry, the CSV header uh, value. Meaning, in the future, if a similar CSV is uploaded with the same um, header structure, then the mapping is used from, uh, from the database where it's cached, so that uh, Copilot need not analyze the CSV again and uh, go through the whole process of, uh, you know, generating the mapping. So you can directly load it from, uh, uh, from the cache. So uh, this is what we wanted to show you. Um, and this brings us to the end of uh, this uh, presentation. Uh, as usual, we, we love feedback uh, from you. Please uh, uh, get in touch with us through any of these channels that you see on the screen and let us know what you feel about these uh, features and um, uh, what kind of changes would you would like to have uh, for this feature uh, in, in the future. So saying that, uh, I would like to say thank you and have a nice day. Thank you.